Welcome to Riverside County's Department of Public Social Services, or DPSS, Vendor Education Program. If you are anticipating doing business with us, this series of short videos will guide you through the process from start to finish. First, a little background on why you might want to include our department as a business partner. California has about one-tenth of the population of the entire country. Riverside County is the fourth largest in the state and with an estimated 2015 population of 2.4 million, we are the 10th most populous in the entire country. DPSS is one of the largest departments in the county. Within DPSS are a number of divisions covering a wide array of services to the public, children's services, self-sufficiency services, adult services, and many more. With such a broad client base, there are great needs for our buying, purchasing, renting, and leasing of all manner of materials, equipment, supplies, and or services. These can run the gamut from architectural services, consulting services, laboratory equipment, office supplies, security alarms, furniture, and even automobiles. The list goes on. And that is why you, as one of our suppliers, should see a partnership with us as a great business opportunity. So how do you get started? The first thing is to get you or your company registered as a vendor or supplier. This all starts on the Riverside County Purchasing website, the URL currently displayed. But before we get you registered, allow us to point out a few of the other features available on this website. In the Bids column, selecting the Purchasing Department Open Bids link will open access to all open bids that are publicly advertised. Note that you must have previously registered with Public Purchase to read the details on these bids. That is also true of the Bid Results link. Registering with Public Purchase is free and simple. We will show you that process later on. The Bid Results link also displays Public Works bids under 175000 and others. On to the Vendors group. In the Vendors column, along with other links for existing vendors, you will find the Vendor Registration and Maintenance link at the bottom of the list. Clicking this link will start the process of registering yourself or your company, or to make any changes to a previous registration. So let's get started. After clicking the Vendor Registration link, you will see this screen. Note the two separate registrations involved in the process. First on the list is registering within our system, Rivco Pro. Once that is complete, you will return to this page and select the Public Purchase link. As we've pointed out, you must have registration with Public Purchase to fully utilize the system. Select the Rivco Pro registration link and you will be presented with this screen. Select your preferred language with the pull-down, enter your business email, and click the Next button. You will then be given the option of creating an account. You will be prompted to answer two questions about this registration. First, are you an individual or a company? Second, a customer relationship status. Here you should select no because as a new registration, you've never been invoiced in the Rivco Pro system. Once this is done, you will be presented with the vendor registration page. It looks like this. When completely filled out, click the Create Account button found at the bottom of the page. A welcome screen appears telling you that the entire process will take approximately 15 minutes to complete and all the information that will be required to complete the online forms. Make sure you have all of this information available, then click the Get Started button. Please note that if you have to take a break or return to this process, that is okay. You can save any changes you will make and return through the same portal to continue the process later. Here's an example screen showing progress with the green check marks. Note the Save Changes button at the bottom right. Rivco Pro uses several address types. Most often are Fulfillment and Remittance. Fulfillment addresses receive orders and the Remittance address receives and processes payments. The remittance address is what would be printed on any checks issued. 
The remittance address must match the remit to address on your invoice or your payment will not be processed by Riverside County. At least one of each type of address is required. They can be the same address, but must be entered into the system separately. All contacts you enter into the system must have an email address. At least one fulfillment and remittance contact is required. Just as with the addresses, one contact can serve both functions, but must be entered separately. Sales and corporate contacts receive notification when a bidding event includes your company. If you were previously registered with the County of Riverside, your existing contacts have been created as the corporate type. You will need to provide a current W-9 in the tax information section, along with a recent invoice. You can upload these directly into the system during this registration. Your registration will be complete when all the sections have a green check mark. Once that occurs, you must certify and click the Submit button. You have now completed registering with the county. We are working to make the Rivco Pro site your one-stop shop for all interactions between the county and its vendors. But, and until that happens in the near future, you will want to repeat this registration process with the public purchase site. Let's take a look at that now. Let's start by returning to the public purchase vendor registration link. Clicking the link will open the public purchase vendor registration screen. Public purchase offers additional services for a fee, but you will have to decide if that is applicable to you or your company. Here, we will select the free option. This is step one of the seven step process. Step two is where you will enter your company's information. Everything that is bolded is required. You can choose to add as much additional information as you see fit. We encourage you to add a brief business description. You also must enter your main contacts information. This is a critical step as this is used to later verify the information being entered. At the bottom of the page, you will be asked to create a username-password combination. Make sure this is something you can later remember. The password must be at least six characters and contain at least one number. Click Next Step to save and proceed with the process. Step three is a very important part of the registration process. This is where you will enter your company's classification or NAICS codes. You can choose as many codes as you wish to describe your company. We strongly encourage you to do so. If unsure, try the keyword search function. The more codes that apply to your sales or services, the better chance that you will be contacted. Be sure to click the Add button to the right of each classification selected. Step four is where you select the states or regions where you are willing or able to operate your business. After making your selections, Click the Next Step button at the bottom of the page. In Step 5, you are asked to select which type of agencies you are interested in doing business with. Select all that apply. There is also a section of this step for notifications. This is where you determine when you will be notified of bids. Select which ones are applicable to you or choose to select all to keep up with every stage of the bids. You will be asked if you wish to complete your free registration in the next step. Click the No Thank You option to continue. This will change to a screen where you must verify all of the information you have entered. Business information, classifications selected, regions, agency types, and notifications. Once all is correct, click Next Step to complete the process. Step 7 is a page where you will see registration submitted at the top. Public Purchase will contact the individual you selected as your company contact and the account will then become active. This can take up to 24 hours, Monday through Friday, to be completed. Once activated, you will receive an email with further instructions on logging in and using Public Purchase. Click Done and you are finished.